this is the 10th video of the series business forecasting and in this video i will show you five methods by using which you can implement linear regression in microsoft excel so let us start just one by one this is the first method this is the most uh, traditional and detailed method compared to the others and in this method we will use the data analysis tool pack you can see this is the data here time series data this is the period and this is the sales and remember this particular data we have already used in the last video so it has 33 samples and in order to implement the linear regression equation we have to go to data and then data analysis sometimes it is possible that you don't find data analysis under data so in that case you will go to the developer tab and under the excel add-ins you make sure that this analysis tool pack vba and analysis tool pack both are checked if these two are checked here then you will find data analysis under data and then click on it and go, go to regression so this is your regression click on ok and then in y range you will select sales because sales is your dependent variable and in x range you will select the period because period or time is your independent variable once this is done you will check these levels because we have selected the entire data that means we have also selected the headings and therefore these levels have to be selected and then you can select this standardized residuals and residuals and line field plots residual plots and normal probability plots and in the output range select any empty cell for example you can select this one so once this is done click on ok so once you click on ok this is the output of regression that is generated you can see these, these are the slope and intercept for the data this is the significance of the ANOVA that means the p-value of the ANOVA which is less than 0 0.05 therefore the model is overall significant and the p-value of the slope that is also less than 0 0.05 I have already discussed this that for just one independent variable that is for simple linear regression these two will always be matching with each other and you will also find that in this case also these two are matching so basically the conclusion is that the model is overall significant and the slope is also overall significant which is basically the same thing then you will find the r square value here this means that 87.6 percent of the total variation of sales is explained by period or the time variable and these are the main mean square values this is the f statistic and this is the standard error of the estimate all these things we have already seen in the last video using spss and now this is using excel these are the residual outputs that means it is showing you for all the 33 values the residuals and the standardized residuals and the predicted sales value using this intercept and slope and if you come to the graphical reports this is the normal probability plot this is the period line fit plot that means the blue colors are for your sales value and the predicted sales using the regression is the orange color plots and this is the residual plot the nature of the plot is very poor here because it is a regression generated plot we have not generated this plot it is generated by the system and therefore it is not very good looking anyway you can edit these plots in making it beautiful 
so that is not the idea here so this was the first method so this is the second method using the linest function this is one of the easiest application in excel in order to implement the regression outputs but there are two difficulties first of all unlike the data analysis tool pack where the output was summarized in a perfectly tabular format in which every output number had uh, its uh, own uh, row number or column number that means headings were available so which output was what was already available from the output but in this case you will all only get the numbers here so this text will not be there i have typed this text down here in order to make sure that you understand it well but ultimately this will be not present that means only numbers will populate it populate it so let us try to see how it works so first of all you have to select the entire range that means from this f2 to g6 that means this 2 by 5 area has to be selected once this is selected is type equal to linest the first argument is known wise that means you will select the y values or the sales values so the second point here is you need to select the sales values but don't select the headings so that means start from the numbers that is b2 not the b1 that is where the text is written must not be included here so in the next argument we have to enter the x values that is from a2 to a34 again in this case don't enter this period that means the text should not be entered here only the numbers and then in the third argument it is asking for whether the b is set to 0 or whether b is calculated normally that means in this case b is intercept so whether you want to take intercept equal to 0 or whether it should be calculated normally that means using regression so we don't want to set it 0 we will calculate it using regression so we will select true then in the last argument true is for return additional regression statistics and false is do not return additional regression statistics so we want all the statistics to be populated so we will select true again then close the bracket once we close the bracket this is the most important part do not press enter here instead of pressing enter press control shift and then enter once you do this the entire range will be completed like this so these are the markings like this one is the slope this is the intercept this is the standard error of slope this is the standard error of intercept this is your r square value this is your standard error of estimate then this is the f statistics this is the degrees of freedom of residuals this is the sum of square of regression and this is the sum of square of residuals remember again these text will be not there i have written this manually in order to make these things clear so this is the limitation of the linest function that it will only populate the numbers but the steps are really important in order to illustrate that once again i will write the steps here first of all select the 2 by 5 range that means in this case from f2 to g6 has to be selected this is the first step what is the second step type the linest function and what is the third step once you have typed this press control shift and enter so make sure that we press them together once this is done these numbers will be populated so remember these three, three steps in this case so now let us come to the third method here the third method is really simple it is the scatter plotting method you just have to select the entire range that means the entire data and then go to 
insert here charts and then scatter plot once you click here the scatter plot will be developed and then you select the chart and go to chart design once you go to chart design come to quick layout and here there is a layout number 9 select that one so once you selected that you see your regression output is there not the entire output obviously but the regression equation and the r square value that is available so this is the slope 0 0.1305 this is the intercept 9.0071 and your r square value was 0 0.8762 so if you are in a hurry and want to know the regression output this is the best method according to me just select the data go to scatter plot and select this layout under chart design you will find quick layout and select the layout number 9 from there once you select it will be easily seen that the regression output that is the regression equation and the r square values are visible here so this is another method the fourth method is very useful in case of forecasting purpose for example you don't want to have the values of slope and intercept that is not of any interest to you but rather you want to calculate the forecast figures in that case there is one function called the trend function just select the trend function then again known wise known wise is your this range that means the sales always make sure that this is fixed by pressing f4 if you press f4 then this b2 b34 will be dollar b dollar 2 to dollar b dollar 34 that means it is now fixed immune by copying that means if you copy this from c2 to c3 or c4 or c5 then this range does not change similarly for known x select a2 to a34 and fix it by pressing f4 once this is done then you can enter the new x what is the new x you enter if you enter 1 here then the forecast will be given for period 1 so let us enter 1 if you enter this much then 9.14 is the forecast value that means instead of entering 1 you just use the range here that is a a2 so if you do that and then copy this down then these are the forecast values using the linear regression you can plot them here selected and insert and then scatter plot so this is your linear li linear regression line output this orange color this is the forecast regression line and these are your actual data and in this case you see you do not attempt to use any regression line rather we use the trend formula to populate the forecast values directly so then again i repeat here what is the trend formula in the first argument you enter the range of the dependent variable that is sales in this case in the second argument you use the independent variable that is period in this case and in the third argument you give a new value of x so for example now you want to forecast this more than one period ahead so now you increase the period numbers and then continue this this will give you the regression output that means the regression forecast linear regression forecast for the next periods also so in this way you can calculate the forecast finally excel has its own set of individual formula for calculating the slope intercept and r square value which are really simple you can use slope and then your y values and x values 
calculate the slope directly. Similarly, you can use the same formula. Just change the slope to intercept and use the same ranges. If you do that, it will give you the intercept also. And then if you use the same formula and make change only for the R square value, just use the R is Q function and ranges are again the same. That is first of all Y and then X. You do that, then you get the R square values also. So using that also you can calculate the forecast indirectly. So equal to intercept plus slope into the period number. In this way also you can calculate the forecast. See these two figures will always match. So these are the five methods of using Excel in order to calculate the linear regression parameters. Remember that the first method that we discussed that is the data, data analysis tool pack and regression from there that was the best method as far as the richness is concerned. But the other methods are good if you don't have time or want to find the regression line and just the R square value really fast. So use your discretion in order to choose the methods. So hope you have understood the methods well in this video. Thanks for watching.